eight millimeter bolts um, so that we can keep that entire plate assembly together. Okay, once we get those bolts snugged up, now what we can do is take and remove our plate just like that. That's all our plates, steel and friction held together there by our two inner and outer uh, plates there. So you can take that out, inspect your clutch basket, make sure there's no major grooving. A lot of times what will happen here on these old clutch baskets is they'll get grooves in here from these plates wearing in there and constant pressure. A lot of times you get some major grooves in there. So you wanna make sure that those are in good condition before you go back together. We can just take and just to kind of put everything together or keep everything together, just slide those plates and, and stuff back on there. Let's set that aside while we dig farther into this transmission assembly here. We've got our shift arm that runs through this point here. You can take, pull up on this lever, that's your shift drum. And we can take this lever and pull up on it. It goes all the way through. That goes to the left hand side of your motorcycle where your shifter is. So that's the shifter there. Again, that piece needs completely replaced there because it was uh, welded on. So we'll set that in the trash. This gear goes behind the clutch pack and it'll actually sit in two grooves that are underneath of the clutch basket. So these grooves will fit down in there. And there's a, a bushing that goes right on there. That slides right onto that shaft. There. And I'll show you that shaft when we get into that transmission a little bit farther. So Kickstarter gear, it's time for that. That is here, you've got a spring on there. Be really careful when you're taking that apart. What I do is very, very carefully, I'll grab a pair of pliers with some good teeth on there, and I like to take the pressure off of this Kickstarter gear. A lot of times that'll make it that much easier to pull up and out. But once you get it past the grooves there, you can let go of that. And then also what I'll do is take and I'll pull that spring out of there so we're not being held up by that spring. All right, once we get that spring off there, you can take and just lift up on that Kickstarter gear there. Um, we've got a spring in behind here. Make sure you keep track of that. You've got your ratchet assembly here on this gear. You can see that I can spin it one direction, but not the other. So when you go to engage your Kickstarter there, what you're doing is engaging it this way it engages that motor, engages that clutch, engages that crankshaft, and then when you let off of that, it's gonna spring back, and it's gonna allow just to be freewheeling in there. So that's why you've gotta have such a heavy duty spring up here, is because you want that to flip back so that that disengages immediately. Otherwise, you're gonna sit there and that gear is gonna be grinding um, on this arm here. So a lot of times, if you hold your kick starter down, you'll hear a, uh, a noise is similar to this, but it's just constant. It's because you're not fully disengaged there uh, from this, this ratchet gear on the back. So you wanna make sure after you start your motorcycle, let off of that kick lever, otherwise you're just wearing those teeth down uh, on that ratchet assembly. So that's the Kickstarter gear there. Okay, we've got our shift drum ready to come out of here, uh, or at least take this plate off of there, and then we've got a spring-loaded arm that uh, engages that shift drum there. Uh, we've got a circlip here, a snap ring that we need to pull off, and then our Kickstarter gear uh, has the disengaging arm as well. So we've got two screws that are two bolts that we need to remove there. And that is off. Now we have this plate that I'm gonna remove as well as this arm. That's a specialty bolt there, so make sure you keep that uh, together. That kind of holds that arm together. Uh, also keep that spring with it. You can see our shift drum is here. This plate will pull off. We'll set that aside. This side looks 